Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q2 of the weekly contest 426. Identify the largest outliner in an array. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. So I, I got two wrong answers on this one um, because I was watching it during the virtual contest because I saw someone did it very quickly. But on, um, the first thing to notice is that N has 10 to the five, fifth nodes, 10, uh, 100,000, sorry. Uh, and having 100,000 nodes means that, well, you cannot do n square type thing, right? So you cannot brute force on sum and nums. So um, you may have a question that, um, I mean, you may get the answer, but the way that I thought about it during um, the solve is that, well, um, if I try to, there are only two different things, right? One of them is the sum, one of them is an outliner, they say, which is not included in anything. So that means that, and we always said that you cannot brute force on both of them. So that means that you have to brute For me, I was like, okay, that means you have to brute force on one of them. So that means that um, if I brute force on some, what would the math look like? Eh, unclear, honestly. So it took me about 20, 30 seconds to, to kind of be like, okay, I don't think I care about anybody. Then the next thing I was just like, okay, what if we brute force an outliner? And then I was like, okay, this is actually pretty uh, straightforward. Um, not in a necessarily easy way, just that like every step can be figured out, right, is what I was saying. Uh, and that's basically the idea. I mean, of course, that being said, I had two wrong answers. One wrong answer for negative numbers and then another one, just a programming uh, miscue, if you will. But the idea here is just, you know, brute force on the outliner. So, okay. So what happens when you brute force on the outliner? Let's actually clean this up a little bit. Um, okay, so we put first outline of first, we have total is the sum of all the numbers. This allows us to kind of do math uh, very quickly, as you'll see. And then f is just the frequency of all the numbers and nums. So then it just follows through that, okay, for x, so x is, is the outliner, then what does it look like? Well, uh, the variable names make no sense, but p total is just the number of, because then now you have two, um, yeah, p total is just the, the sum of all the numbers not including the outliner, right? So that means that, um, and for, for uh, one of the numbers is going to be sum of all the other numbers, that means that you should be able to divide them into two, which is what this is for. If, if this number is not even, then you can divide it by two and you continue. Otherwise, you divide it by two, you have, uh, I don't know, a very terribly named variable s. And then we just check that s is in um, the frequency table and there are at least one entry. And that's pretty much it. Um, you have to, I did get a second wrong answer because I didn't check for this case where s is x. Um, so meaning that x is the outliner, but then you do the math and then s is also the number that you're looking for. And as a result, that is no Gucci. Um, I guess if you, yeah, and that's pretty much it really. Uh, once you kind of take that account by subtracting one, check, and then adding it back on. You could also have done special logic on like if X is equal to S and stuff like this, but I find that this is um, during the virtual contest, just my quickest way of kind of uh, thinking through it. And yeah, uh, what's the complexity here, right? Well, this is linear time. Uh, li uh, constant space, but this is linear time, linear space, and this is linear time, right? And everything else is all of one, so we're pretty okay. Uh, yeah, and that's pretty much it. That's the idea. And I would say um, I actually do like this problem because this is one of those problems where you don't need any special knowledge of algorithms, really, um, other than, I guess, like a lookup table or something. It is, I mean, it is definitely very mathematical, as you can kind of maybe figure it out, but Maybe not, but I feel like most people have the tool set to um, work on this problem, right? Maybe not as fast and maybe, you know, whatever, but there, there's nothing super, um, you know, like I think this problem works on the problem solving skills, which is pretty good, uh, if you ask me. And yeah, and I got two wrong answers, so, you know, but uh, yeah, that is all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And you could watch me stumble through this problem next. Okay, is there negative numbers or anything funky? No? Okay, let's go. Whew. Special numbers. Sum of this, what? The other is an outliner. Sum of these special numbers. Seems like most numbers are not special. 
Yeah. Well, when all this with all the numbers are special, why are they special? Okay. Uh, okay. Anyway, I'm confusing myself too much. Oh, there could be negative numbers. Okay. Mm. Oh, we can just test this, right? So, hmm. So, okay, so total is your sum of nums, and then what? Oh, what are we supposed to, largest potential outliner, okay. Okay, so then maybe I have a f is equal to collection start counter. So then we iterate on on the outliner, right? So for x and nums, um, if this is the outliner, then um, whatever total is equal to total minus x, and then if p total is, if if this is in the thing. All right, you got this. Slow down. Okay, so p total is the sum of all the other numbers, but I don't know how to handle. But two. Okay, so if p total, um, but you have to subtract. Okay, yeah. So do, 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 do. we continue. We skip. Otherwise, eh, s <laughs> terrible variable names. Um, okay, if s is greater than 1, then what are we Out Largest potential outliner. So that's x, right? Someone like this, right? 10, 4, 5. Eh. I don't know about negative numbers, but... <gasps> I, oh, Larry! You even said negative numbers. What are you doing? Oh, oh, oh. What are you doing? Watched it. Eh. Oh, no. What are you doing? Okay, now I'm, okay. slow down, Larry. You didn't handle the negative numbers at all. Eh, I'm watching this one. Okay. Um, eh, that's sad. Um, okay, so why does it think... Okay, 13 is fine. Wait, the biggest, largest, why? Why is 13 not right? So we have P total, we have, or we have S, and F of S. Why is that not right? Okay, negative 35. Why is 13 not right? Uh, okay, well, uh, okay, I'm very sad. <laughs> okay, 39, so we have 13 and 35. Oh, am I mining? No, 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 max is fine. So I get 35 is a potential thing, but 13 is because well, S is 13, X is 13. Oh, you Dumbo! <laughs> oh, that is that is cute. That is cute. Um, eh. Oh, that that's actually a good one. It's not a negative number thing. All right. Well, if I get another wrong answer, I'll just be very sad. Eh, okay. I watched it though. I am watching it too much. I'm trying to like time trial this. Thanks for watching everybody. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem, this contest, everything in between, the explanation, maybe not. Stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.